bit of independence. Very important. When you've been independent for years, it's very hard to give it up. Just to be able to go into the city and things like that would be really important. And you don't see it when you're a passenger in a car, where it would be nice to actually go out and experience it. I want to try and avoid um, aged care facilities at all costs. So the more active I can be, the less likely I am to need uh, those facilities. I'm quite a determined person and I suppose I like to be in control of my life to a certain degree. So we've got a few scooter participants here today that have had no experience on public transport so far. Some are quite new to using their scooter as well. Uh, so we're wanting to see that we can teach them to independently use their scooters on public transport um, and improve their confidence in the area. Okay, so we'll just have a bit of a three point turn just to practice the directional controls there. So what we'll do is if you press forwards on this, you're going to slowly go forward and we'll head down and we'll head down towards the ramp. So to be really confident in getting where you need to go on your scooter, it's a good idea to have some practice and see how it's going to operate outside of your garden gate on the pavement, getting over curb cuts, crossing roads, around shopping centres, on public transport as well. Yarra Trams is so pleased to partner with Travellers Aid um, to provide support for people with disabilities to use our tram network. Coming through the second door, because then the accessible spot's just on your left as you come through. Catching a tram doesn't look the same for everyone, so it's important for there to be an opportunity for people to practice. If you do come into any issues or there's an emergency, you can actually speak to the driver. Yep, yeah, might need a little bit further to this side. Demonstrations like this are really vital for, for our customers and also our staff, just to gain that familiarisation of what it's like to travel on a V-Line service, whether it's a train or a coach, and what the accessibility options are. Keep coming. Jesus, I think yeah. that was that big. Yeah. <laughs> Just take it nice and wide to make sure you've got enough room to straighten up. Straight on approach. Yeah. That's what the day's about, trialling. No, I'm hitting that. You're hitting it? Yeah. That's all right, that's what we're here for, yeah, to I keep practising. Perfect. Lovely. I had a lot of fun um, and hopefully the participants did as well. It was really good to see them improving their confidence after just such a short time. Yeah, it's looking good. Woohoo! This is some precision driving here. Perfect. Well done, John. <laughs> It just makes life so easy to think you can go by bus or train to wherever you want to go, really. I was really happy with what I actually was able to do and I didn't know that you could get on a tram before like that. If I want to, I can get on a tram or a train. I had never tried it before.